Hello everybody and welcome back to Diamatics Gaming Channel. Today we're looking at Half-Life 2 in the Unreal Engine 4. Uh, this is created by fan Liam Tart. Uh, he's a 3D environmental artist. Um, he's just experimenting with Unreal Engine 4 here. Um, so uh, this is just a recreation of the apartments level. Uh, as you can see the graphics are a lot better. Um, it kind of gives the absence or the feeling of uh, Half-Life 3 or maybe Half-Life 2 ported over to the Source 2 engine, something like that. But uh, yeah, this level is very short, it's just a small piece here. Uh, there's no NPCs or anything like that, and you can't really interact with the environment. Um, it's just a little, a little test that Liam was doing. Um, but yeah, I'll have the link in the description down below for his information there. Um, you can also play this in Oculus VRs as well, there's a, a version for that. All you need is the Unreal Engine 4 uh, from the Unreal website, and uh, this would be added to your library uh, if you downloaded it from uh, his links that are on his website. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this looks great. The spectral lighting, everything's all different, ported over to the Unreal Engine 4. It looks awesome, actually. But um, there's also another fan that created uh, Half-Life 2, I guess the first map, the train station map. Uh, but it wasn't released or anything like that. But this one's actually, you can play the scene and walk through it and everything, which is great. But uh, yeah, it's really nostalgic as well. It brings back all the the old memories of Half-Life 2 and how great it could actually be if it's been upgraded and looked a lot better and everything like that. And uh, yeah, there's no NPCs or anything in this map. You can't really do much. It's just a, this is the, basically the end of it here, but uh, this goes up to the roofs here. Um, this was actually in one of the E3 tech demos, the DirectX 9 uh, for Half-Life 2, the rooftop here. Um, this kind of reminds me of that tech demo. And uh, this is the end of the map. You just walk off and you fall through the map. And uh, yeah, that's it. So um, yeah, I'll have all the information in the link down below in the description uh, to Liam Tart's website there. And um, yeah, just some more information down there. So comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.